now we're doing the uh, Fat Shark um, Teleporter 3 test. And what I've got going on right now is the stock setup with a stock whip and then a replacement that uh, my dad actually built for me uh, with a four leaf and a three leaf upstairs. So the Fat Shark right now is plugged into my little AV adapter going to my laptop. And upstairs at the top of the house, uh, three stories up, is the wing. We're on the uh, FPV-1, I've got a little control, and I can do things like flash some lights. So we're looking at the video quality, we are taking some hits, it's pretty clear, I expect that for, you know, the level of, uh, we're not that exactly that far away. Um, it's too darn cold to uh, be going outside and dealing with this right now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut down the whole system, I'm going to go upstairs, and we're going to switch this over to the, the antennas uh, and uh, see if we get a little bit of difference in the video and less hits. Now we've switched over to the whips. I'm now recording just for my own sampling. I'm still seeing a fair bit of hit and I'm wondering if that's just to do with location. That's light switching. So what I'll do is I'll look at the differences. Uh, ultimately, I'm going to try this stuff outside very soon this weekend. I'm told that no matter what, the cloverleaf antennas are supposed to be better than the stock whips. And obviously, we're inside where there's a lot of electrical, Wi-Fi, and so on. So who knows? Right now, I have the transmission set and receiver set right beside each other. So four leaf on the receiver. That's a hard line, but it gets it away and clear from the Fat Shark goggles, which is really nice. This is the three-leaf transmission with a curve. I have a shorter one, but the problem with this unit is you do need a 90-degree as in. Uh, I suspect we're losing a lot of single strength here. I should almost do an up-close test, but what I see here is I like uh, up-close, so I'm looking forward to getting this thing outside and testing it.